Hey there, how's it going? Breakfast all day. We are all back. We're playing a little bit of catch up here, and I'm so glad we are because this movie is so great. It's High Flying Bird. It's on Netflix. It came out just like last week, mm -hmm. and it's out there for you to watch, and you should. Um, ben, please tell us about it. Yeah. Yeah, High Flying Bird is a sports movie with no sports. Um, <laughs> Minimal sports. There's a little sports. They dribble a basketball like one time. Barely, yeah. I mean, really, like Andre Holland takes a couple of four-foot jumpers while talking to Bill Duke. Um, There's a one-on-one -on -one that we don't see. That's right. There's a one-on-one -on -one right. that we In don't see. In a couple see. seconds. Uh, so uh, Andre Holland plays uh, Ray Burke. He's an agent. The movie basically is like three days uh, in his uh, life. And uh, he's got a big client. His client was the first player taken in the NBA draft. But that client, uh, Eric Scott, uh, can't make any money uh, because the NBA is in a lockout. And the movie sort of details over 72 hours uh, Ray Burke's attempt to uh, end the lockout. And all of that is really unimportant uh, to us because what is important is sort of watching the machinations of, again, the the game above the game, the game that exists, uh, that enables the game to go on and watching Burke maneuver with, uh, Sonia Sohn, who plays the, so good. she's so well, she's just as good an actress as there is. And she, uh, she plays the, uh, uh, the president of the players association working, uh, fighting the owners to try to end the lockout. Uh, and the story with a couple other characters involved sort of, again, is over three days. That process as it plays out as uh, Eric Scott's relationship with uh, with Ray Burke gets uh, there incredibly close and then it gets strained and everything gets sort of pulled apart while 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 Burke works in a way that you got to pay super close attention. Uh, yeah. Or you will miss what he's doing, and even if you're paying attention, right. uh, you will miss what he's doing. It's, it's a bit of sleight of hand yeah. that goes on there. Yeah. Benefits from repeated. Movie. This is yeah. a heist movie. This is absolutely a heist movie. Yeah. And it's a when, Soderbergh heist it's movie. It's a Soderbergh heist movie. <laughs> and when you get to the end of it, you realize what the heist is. Um, I think this movie is terrific. Uh, Zazie Beetz is great in this. It's his assistant. So good. Um, Bill Duke. This is one of my favorite Bill Duke performances maybe since Predator. Um, he's so awesome in this. Uh, he plays an old, old-time uh, New York uh, like rec league coach up right. in the Bronx in the Bronx um, yeah up from, in the Bronx. The, from the court where this number one draft pick came from that's right, right. so played by Melvin Gregg is his name right um, and you get you know bits of this backstory to Burke's first client his cousin and where that came from and there's a lot of talk about how the league uses people and you know there's I mean look like the movie's not subtle about mapping out the way the league treats players not far off of slavery, which every, like, and it gets played up the way Bill Duke reacts to that. Um, well, the movie's kind of like almost a feature-length ad for the book, The Revolt of the Black Athletes. Yeah, yeah. and we get, we get a little uh, Harry Edwards who wrote the book. Um, as a cameo. Uh, as a cameo there at the end of the movie. So, yeah, this works on so many levels. I mean, first of all, it's the second movie in a row that Steven Soderbergh has shot on an iPhone. Mm-hmm. Which right. I don't know that you necessarily realize that right. as you're way, watching it. Right. The only way you'd really notice is on some of the like when you see like the vertical lines sometimes towards the sides of the shot are a little curved in. They're a little like what anamorphic. Well, there's kind of like a tilt pan of, right. of, of Andre Holland. What was the first one called? Unsane. Unsane. So I yeah. thought, and I liked Unsane too. I like this one uh, more. Um, Unsane was seems strikes me as a harder movie to shoot on an iPhone than this one. Uh, but there were some moments during Unsane, uh, and again, this was, a, you know, to, to be able to pull that off. And again, I'm sure that the technology is better three years, four years later, whatever it's been since Unsane. But there were a couple of moments in Unsane where I thought, that could be brighter. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes. Uh, Absolutely. And there the are lighting's... some scenes yeah. here as well. Like, there's a scene in a bar where Andre Holland and Sonia Son are talking, and it is dark, but I feel like those moments, it's intentional. Yeah, it's a bar. I, I, I didn't feel it. In fact, yeah. I, no, I, forgot, I forgot. I forgot. I knew we'd shot it with an iPhone, but until you mentioned it, when I was right. watching it, I forgot. I didn't know during the watching of the thing, but in retrospect, it's like, oh, of course, because he's done that before, and he likes to play with technology and play with form, and, and um, it still feels glossy, and of course, he always shoots his own stuff, and he cuts his own stuff, yeah. and it moves so beautifully. It does move with, like, 
the zippy verve of one of his Oceans movies. Yeah, I for want sure. to mention Terrell Alvin McCraney. He wrote the script. Who wrote yeah. the script? Who wrote Moonlight? Yes, yeah, the dialogue's um, incredible. Yeah, this is this is so sharp. Like I don't know anything about sports. I think we've established over <laughs> the years, and you know, certainly not about like the behind the scenes of sports management. But the way this movie brings you into that world and explains what's going on and gets into these larger issues of the white owners versus the black players, right. and without you know, being really expository. About exactly. It. Yeah. And it all feels super organic, and um, it was interesting because I, I I saw What Men Want, and then came home and watched this movie. They're both and, about sports agents, and they're both about <laughs> sports agents, but they're on different planets. Although yes. they do both have that guy the, from the Hawks, the the Carl Anthony, Taylor. Carl Anthony, yeah. Um, and they're both Carl about Anthony. sports agents trying to secure the number one draft pick in the NBA. Yes, yes. Yeah. There, was a, there were a lot of moments I was like, what. But, but, yeah, this is a much smarter movie and a much more realistic film about what that world and, looks like. And this movie has Donovan Mitchell, Carl Anthony Towns, and Reggie Jackson, three NBA players uh, uh, not drafted at the same time and sort of interwoven, telling their stories of, of coming into the league. And it's pretty effective as well. I also thought in this movie that there was like, this is how black people felt in every movie released before 1960 and in many after that uh, also, because all three white characters who have any sort of meaningful role in this are sinister and awful. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle McLaughlin and uh, Zachary Quinto. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, the, and a little bit, he's got one scene, but we, we love his work always consistently at Glenn Fleshler, who mm -hmm. plays the sort of the... The, I, I thought an owner, but maybe not. Who oh. uh, who tells him? Oh, like, he right. is one of the owners. Yeah. yeah, and he's like he's like you know when he finds out there's a there's a, a, a there's a, a, a ploy made right. by uh, by Ray Burke to sort of force the end of the lockout. And oh, again, all the guys care. They care about money. They care about people. You know, it's like we got to put a we got to crush this instantly. One of the many things I love about the script is that there's a really heightened nature to the rat a tat of the of the dialogue. Right? It's it's otherworldly. Like we all wish we were that smart in the moment all the time but there's also such a groundedness to it and such a realism and such a contemporary nature to the story it's trying to tell and I love how it functions on both of those levels simultaneously it's, it's really tough to do um, yeah it is an allegory about slavery it is an allegory about capitalism but it also if you want to just watch it as a fun sports movie just watch actors doing their jobs beautifully you can do that too and you mentioned that that the way that dialogue is pulled off and you know I mean again it's, it sounds like the kind of movie that that you know that that could have been uh, uh, written by you know Dave Bennett? no the, yes but uh, you know the other one you do, on, uh, newsroom oh, 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 Aaron, Aaron Sorkin, Aaron Sorkin. Sorkin. <laughs> so but you know and it's but no 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 nobody's that didactic <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying but it's like so it's proof that like and obviously when Sorkin is at his best you know West Wing A Few Good Men there's it's brilliant right and uh, and I saw To Kill a Mockingbird on Broadway and I think it's really wonderful. Uh, but sometimes it's ridiculous, right? Sure. The manner in which they're talking. Molly's game, there were moments <laughs> in it where you're like, come on, man. This is not, uh, but you don't have any of that here. Like no. you can, you can have smart people talking quickly, saying smart things, uh, in a way that feels, uh, totally genuine. And that's what happens. Yeah. Just like us. Yes, totally. I, 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 Andre Holland, in case you guys were not aware, oh, yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Um, Go back and watch The Nick if no, you haven't. I've never seen The Nick. And so now I, I see what that Soderbergh Andre Holland connection uh -huh. is, is like. It's so great. Um, because one thing I love about this, and I love this about, um, Regina Hall in, in Support the Girls too, is like, he's figuring out who he has to be in every situation yes. in order to get what he needs from every single situation. They're all transactions. And and he's always like on his feet and he's hustling, but you know, but he also cares deeply. It's not just about the money. It's not just about the power. He wants to make a difference. And, and so watching him navigate every bit of this treacherous situation he's in is really fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah great cast, extraordinary script, Soderbergh, totally on his game. Uh, this is, I would not be shocked if this is at least going to come up when I sit down at the end of the year to make my mm -hmm. best of the year list. It's at least going to be, in the in the on the long in the, list in the conversation. there is yeah. no sports movie ever made that requires you to pay closer attention to what's going on mm. i mean you can't you can't you know i mean some of the best sport you know we talked about good football movies uh uh in before the super bowl you know and great some great ones you know north dallas 40 is a great smart movie it sort of that vilifies the nfl you know but it's still a sports movie you don't have to if you miss a line, yeah. you'll be okay. Here, man, this is a this is a this is more of a business movie than a sports. Yeah, this movie. is a one screen experience. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so uh, my number is nine. I loved it. I said nine also. 
Oh, uh, what did I say? You said 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't, I, I'm too low. I'm going to give it an 8.5 too, um, which is going to pull us to 8.8. 8.8 8 is our number. It's at 92% on the tomato meter. You can watch it right now from the comfort of your couch on Netflix once you're done listening to us. That's right. Follow us at BFast all day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, and you can subscribe there or on any other podcatcher like Spotify or Google Play. Uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube and leave us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.